What has changed in the NCLEX? NGN is a new and improved exam developed by NCSBN. The NGN will feature new items and scoring rules, which will improve the assessment of clinical judgment. The NCLEX will now termed as Next Generation NCLEX, NGN. The exam mostly contains case study, analysis and investigations. Why is the NCLEX changing? Simply said, the NGN's goal is to better assess a candidate's clinical judgment through its questions. The NCSBN examined the knowledge and abilities necessary for nursing practice in 2013-2014. The NCSBN strategic practice analysis and related studies showed that a minimum level of knowledge and skill is becoming increasingly necessary to practice as a nurse. The NCSBN Clinical Judgment Measurement Model, NCJMM. The NCJMM is a framework that details the actions a nurse must perform in order to respond to a client's needs in a suitable manner. An issue must first be identified by nurses, who must then use a decision-making process to take appropriate action and assess the client's response. The model expands upon the nursing process and permits a more thorough evaluation of the thinking processes underlying clinical judgment as well as the context surrounding these decisions. The third tier of the NCJMM focuses on six quantifiable phases in clinical decision-making. These instructions provide guidance for the six consecutive NGN case study and standalone item questions. Recognize cues. Analyze cues. Prioritize hypotheses. Generate solutions. Take actions. Evaluate outcomes. When will the NCLEX be updated? The debut date for the next generation NCLEX exam is April 1, 2023, according to the NCSBN. This implies that the NGN will be administered to students who started nursing school in the fall of 2021. What aspects of the NCLEX are changing? The NGN is not a brand new or exclusive exam. It is an improved test that has been created to more accurately gauge a student's clinical judgment. The outcome is a revised test format with new next-generation NCLEX item types modified exam length requirements, and a new scoring scheme. Next-gen NCLEX item types. The NCSBN has approved these new item types. Extended multiple response. Extended drag and drop. Close, click or drag answer options to fill in the blank. Highlight text. Matrix, grid, bowtie, trend. Minimum and maximum exam duration. The exam will now have a minimum of 85 questions, 70 scored and 15 unscored, a maximum of 150 questions, and next-gen questions, 135 scored and 15 unscored. There will be three case studies, each with six questions, and 52 standalone questions totaling 18 questions inside the minimum length test that will be graded and factor into the pass, fail. Determination, Next Generation NCLEX News. Winter 2022. However, as part of the pretest questions, candidates may get up to an additional two case studies that are not scored, for a total of five. Is NGN harder? There is no doubt that the NGN format is quite different. However, that doesn't mean it will be harder for students to pass. To prepare for NGN, students must begin preparing now. Is there a change in both the NCLEXRN and NCLEXPN exams? Yes. The new NGN format will be used for both the NCLEXRN and NCLEXPN exams in order to better assess clinical judgment. NCLEX scoring models for the next generation. As part of the next generation NCLEX, polytomous, partial credit, scoring is introduced. Correct responses may result in partial credit. The NCSBN detailed the new scoring rules in the Summer 2021 NGN newsletter.
But here's a quick rundown of the new scoring models. 0 or 1 scoring rule. The answer is either correct or incorrect. Candidates receive 1 point for each correct answer and 0 points for each incorrect answer. Multiple choice items are the best example of this. Positive or negative scoring rule. Candidates gain points for choosing the correct options, but they lose points for choosing the incorrect options. The score for this question is tallied by adding up the correct option points, then subtracting the incorrect option points. If candidates answer more incorrectly than correctly, the lowest possible score is a zero. Rationale scoring rule. The rationale scoring rule is applied to questions assessing relational or paired information. Because the question is assessing a candidate's understanding of the concept, both answer options must be correct in order to receive a one-point score. If one or both of the options selected are incorrect, then the score is zero. Example, the client is at highest risk of developing, select answer, as evidenced by the client's, select answer. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.